All right, guys, so now we're gonna hop over onto the PC and I'm gonna show you how to you know, generate multiple Instagrams uh, from your PC. Now, obviously, you can set them up on your PC and then you can use them on a browser on your mobile phone if you'd like, if you wanna target follow that way. And then you could literally just continue to sign in and target follow on your, your mobile browsers. That's a way where you can literally have endless apps, or not, sorry, endless apps, endless Instagram accounts, because uh, you don't necessarily need to post every single day. You just need, you know, you wanna target follow as best as you can, but you just need, you know, the initial nine posts to give you a little bit of credibility and social proof. Uh, and then obviously, you know, you can start target following that in that aspect. Uh, but, you know, you can log in every once in a while and post a picture, but it doesn't have to be every day, you know, maybe two or three times a week. Uh, you know, obviously once a day would be ideal, but uh, if you're really talking about scaling it up and you're looking for ways to have multiple Instagram accounts, um, this is definitely away from your PC. Now, obviously, another, uh, just a little caveat, another thing that I recommend is buying a cheap uh, iPod Touch. You can download Instagram on, on a newer iPod Touch, and uh, it's very, very cheap to get an iPod Touch. And uh, that way you can literally have six more Instagram accounts from your iPod Touch uh, on your Wi-Fi. So you don't need to pay for a service. You literally just use your iPod Touch from Wi-Fi and it acts as, you know, a medium kind of like a mobile phone. But for this this uh, example, we're going to go through the PC. So obviously I have multiple browsers up. Don't it just ignore the uh, this page. This is one of the things that I'm starting um, in, a, in a different business model to teach you guys. But uh, so... Um, Really fast, we have the right down here. We have um, obviously Edge. That's one browser. You can have one that's attached to Edge, just like the mobile versions. Then there's Firefox. You can have one that's attached to Firefox. That's two. Then Google Chrome. That's three. Uh, then I have Oberlo here. That's or not Oberlo. Sorry, um, Opera. That's four. And then uh, Vivaldi. That's five. Now there's a million other browsers. Like I said, just like on mobile, these are just five that I trust and use myself. Uh, these are five that you can use, um, and that's five more accounts that you can have and target follow from your PC because obviously, um, and we're going to hop over right over here into Instagram because I'm going to show you something really cool. Um, a little caveat and a bonus uh, tip for, for my Instagram followers here. Um, but essentially, you'll see here that you can just, you can, this is vacation spots. So we're going to type in vacation. This is something I'm building for my other course. Don't, don't pay attention to the dog or anything else like that. It's just, it's something that I'm, I'm, I'm building. So we'll just hop over here. You see this person might be a decent person to target follow because they have some engagement, not the best person, but just for this example, we'll go over here. So um, we're going to go down and we would go into, obviously it's a little bit more difficult to target follow from PC but you can go and target follow their followers on PC. Now I suggest going and using mobile because you can target follow the, the likes and the comments. Um, and obviously you could, you could target follow comments from PC too, but you, for whatever reason, are not able to click the actual likes. So uh, that's how you target follow from PC. You can go in and target follow the comments if you'd like, just open them up and then target follow. It's a little bit slower. Um, or you can follow from um, the followers, uh, just like I said. So that's, that's five, that's, what is that? That's five more, um, Instagram accounts that you can have here. Now, obviously you can't post, but I'm going to show you how you can post from the computer. Uh, you download this little app right here. It's, it's a Google plugin. So go to the Chrome store and you type in web stuff for Instagram. Now what web stuff for Instagram does is it acts as, uh, an Instagram, um, type app where you can post photos. So obviously you do your target following on your browsers and then you'd log into each of those five on uh, Webstagram or Websta and you would post through this little Google plugin. Now that's a very, very cool thing. You can download it in the Google Chrome store um, like I showed you. Now I'm gonna show you one more little caveat uh, because I think it's very, very cool. Uh, something, if, you, if you're not looking to get automation services or automation software, which is definitely something that I would recommend getting if you're really trying to scale it up because you, it's just, it would take way too much time if you have multiple, multiple, multiple Instagram accounts to generate as much traffic as you possibly can. You're gonna be target following every hour uh, and thousands of people an hour from, from those accounts total. So what I like to do is I, I have, you know, follow liker, I pay for, um, let me show you really fast. I pay for one-time payment 
uh, I did the unlimited Instagram account license and I can literally just scale it up. Every time I have a new Instagram account, I hook it up to my follow liker and it, it, you just can't match that type of productivity. It target follows people based on hashtag, it tar target follows and it comments and it, and it engages um, and you really start to see your Instagram accounts grow. So I would suggest investing in that. It's a one-time 97, I think it was 97.99. 97.99 one-time payment. Now, you will have to pay for proxies if you're scaling it up and you get more than, I believe it was four or five Instagram accounts, um, but you know, proxies are not expensive. You're talking a couple bucks here and there. Um, but if you don't want to uh, pay for those, another little thing that you can do is you obviously wanna have Instagram up and then you go to the, to the Chrome store and you're gonna download a plugin called autoinsta.me. You can see it right here, autoinsta.me. And what that does is it acts as a target follower. Now it's not the best software in the world, but it does work and I'll show you what it does. So you click it once you've downloaded it and then you log in and you can kind of set it up just like you would um, a, a follow liker software. Now it's not as in depth, it's not as, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's not, it, it doesn't work as optimally but it does work. Now you can target follow, you can target unfollow from your list, um, you can like from certain hashtags, and you can set all this up. Now just to show you really fast, I'm going to go into Vacation Hub. So this is something that pops up down here when you have this in, uh, installed. And what it will do is it will collect from, from their comments, it will collect, it will collect uh, into a pool users that liked or commented, or it will collect from their followers into a pool. And what it essentially does, as I'll show you, is I'll hit collect users from like and comments. And it will slowly collect the users from the likes and comments. Now I'll go back over if you don't have it up already. Now both of these should be up if you're doing this. And this is 100% free. Um, essentially what you're gonna do here is it'll start to, maybe it's likes. The pool, the number in the pool here will start to grow. And then eventually, if you, if you don't have this on or off, it, you'll be able to follow those people. Now you can set up, um, you know, obviously the time intervals just like follow liker so that you don't get captchas and stuff like that. You know, pool collect intervals and stuff like that. Sleep times, you know, cause you don't want to be, it to be always active. You want to kind of mimic a, a, a normal user. So you're gonna want to put this to sleep sometimes if you're using this and you see the pool starting to go up. Um, so that's pretty cool, but Obviously, this is just an alternative. It doesn't work as optimally and it doesn't work as well, but it's definitely something that you can utilize to your advantage if you don't want to pay for automation software. Now, obviously, this only works for one Instagram at a out account at a time because you can only have Google Chrome up once. Um, but, you know, whereas Follow Liker, you can have unlimited. So uh, just something to keep in mind. But this does work. It is very cool and it is 100% free.